Tired of pumping expensive gasoline into your car? Well, one Japanese company reveals an eco-friendly car that runs on water. All right, picture this. You're cruising down the highway, your gas light comes on, and instead of pulling into a gas station, you swing by McDonald's and say, yeah, let me get a Big Mac, large fries, and uh, a gallon of water for my car. Water, the same stuff you drink, cook pasta with, splash on your buddy at the pool, might actually be what powers your car in the future. Sounds crazy, right? Well, it's not science fiction anymore. Toyota, the same company that gave us the Prius, is now working on engines that could literally run on hydrogen. And where do we get hydrogen? You guessed it, straight from water. So before you start shoving a garden hose into your gas tank like a backyard scientist, let me explain how this actually works, why it's such a big deal, and whether one day we'll really be saying, fill her up with H2O. Let's start with the problem, gasoline and diesel. They've been running our cars for over a century. And sure, they get the job done, but they're messy. They pollute the air, heat up the planet, and don't even get me started on gas prices. One week, it's $3 a gallon. The next week, it's $5. And suddenly, you're questioning every life decision that led you to buying an SUV. And then, there's climate change. Honestly, it's like the Earth's stuck in a permanent fever. And we're the ones cranking up the thermostat. So, along came electric cars. Tesla, Rivian, all those companies saying, forget gas. Let's plug these babies into the wall. And yeah, EVs are cool, super quiet, crazy fast, and no smoke out the tailpipe. But here's the catch. Charging takes forever, batteries are expensive, and guess what? A lot of that electricity still comes from burning coal. So switching to EVs is kind of like switching from cheeseburgers to veggie burgers. Looks healthier, feels healthier, but deep down, you know it's still not perfect. Now here's where Toyota throws in a curveball, hydrogen. Instead of betting everything on batteries, Toyota's been working on hydrogen fuel cells. The car takes hydrogen, mixes it with oxygen from the air, and boom, you get electricity. And the only thing that comes out of the tailpipe? Pure, water, vapor, imagine that. Your exhaust pipe is basically a mini humidifier. Instead of choking people with smoke, you're just giving them clouds. Honestly, that's kind of beautiful. Now, let's clear this up. Do cars literally run on water? Not exactly. You can't just pour a bottle of Dasani into your tank and drive off to work. What Toyota does is split water. Remember, water is H2O into hydrogen and oxygen. The car uses the hydrogen for fuel, and when it's done, you get water again. It's like a science fair project, but on steroids. And yeah, it's kind of like the circle of life. Hakuna Matata, but for engines. Toyota's playing the long game here. While everyone else is all in on batteries, Toyota's building hydrogen cars like the Toyota Mirai, and they're even testing engines that burn hydrogen directly, just like gasoline. So you still get that rumble, that growl, that sports car feel we all love, but without the guilt trip of melting icebergs while you're flooring it on the freeway. Okay, but here's the reality check. You can't just back your truck up to a lake, scoop up some water, and dump it in. Extracting hydrogen takes a lot of energy, and hydrogen fuel stations? Man, they're harder to find than a Chick-fil-A open on Sunday. So, yeah, the idea's awesome, but the infrastructure still has a long way to go. But here's why this could still be a game changer. Zero emissions, refueling in minutes, not hours, and using the most common element in the universe. Hydrogen's everywhere. If we can crack the code on making it cheap and efficient, we're talking cross-country road trips with nothing but water vapor puffing out the back. Honestly, that's a future I'd love to live in. And it's not just cars. Imagine buses, semi-trucks, 
even airplanes running on hydrogen. Planes could fly coast to coast, and instead of pollution, they'd just be leaving fluffy clouds behind. No smoke, no fumes, just sky art. Airlines could literally say, now boarding flight 204, powered by H2O. Tell me that doesn't sound cool. So, will cars in America actually run on water one day? Well, not straight from your kitchen sink, but hydrogen made from water? Absolutely. And Toyota's already proving that it's more than just a wild idea. Maybe, just maybe, 20 years from now, when your fuel light pops on, you won't be asking for unleaded or diesel. You'll be saying, yeah, can I get 20 bucks on water, please?